morning and welcome to Joseph's News. This is your presenter Ishika, bringing you the latest updates. Here, we aim to keep you connected, engaged and up to date. Coming up in this broadcast, in solidarity with the rape victims, St. Joseph University held a silent protest to voice out against the injustice. Branding and Bonding, a fun interactive session hosted by students of Advertising and Public Relations to learn brands and bond among seniors and juniors. ICUF's Invest Teacher Ceremony, aiming to promote leadership skills among the students. Department of Electronics launches JET Club. Every time a woman is harassed, raped and murdered, questions of women's safety are raised. To stand against such violence and heinous acts, St. Joseph's University conducted protests by art, a silent protest on August 26 at Freedom Park, Bangalore. The students expressed their pain and concern for women's safety and shared deep condolence for all rape victims through art. Candlelight march, street plays, singing and more such activities were held by the university in memory of all victims. Let us know more about the protest from our ground reporter, Unati. We are here at the Freedom Park to march a protest against the Kolkata rape and murder case. Father, according to you, what could be the possible measures or step taken in the public policy to reduce such cases and incidents? I only hope the political power doesn't interfere in the justice system. If the justice system is given free hand, there will be justice. There are enough laws. Only issue is that the political system interferes there and gives relief to the perpetrators of the violence. Because India is a youth population and there are so many youth here. There are multiple effects. It will go to the ends of the country and the world, just creating awareness and for the safety of the future of the citizens of this country, especially the women. And as a college, uh, what are the measures or uh, the steps taken by the university to ensure the safety of women and girls? We have, I hope I've seen that our campus is quite safe for women and people. Uh, we see to that the safety is maintained. So Please the issues are around. immediate to be attend to that and see that and put employed people so that the issues are resolved and they have a safer place to live in and to study and to enhance their future. Uh, one last question that the ones who could not take part in today's protest, what uh, contribution that uh, they can make? They, they could be unable to attend, but you people who attended must spread this awareness to others. But the ultimate awareness should come in. Yeah. And in one way or the other, they should participate maybe in writing or by talking to people. They should also express the solidarity of the people and thus create a safe environment in this country especially and the world for the victims, especially women victims. Thank you, Father. Thank you. This is your reporter Unati with camera person Datatria signing off. Brandstorm. A Students' Association of MA Advertising and Public Relations organized Branding and Bonding, a fun interactive session to connect, exchange ideas and to strengthen their creative community, followed by a guest talk on significance of public relations by an alumni. We have reporter Navya with more updates about the event. Today, we are at the Branding and Bonding event organized by the MA Advertising and Public Relations students by School of Communication. So this is a fun interactive session among juniors and seniors to know each other more and exchange their ideas. We have Dr. Rupa Peter who is the Associate Coordinator for Brandstrom. So ma'am, uh, what is the significance of the event Branding and Bonding? So the thing is like this, the students, uh, first year and second day PR, they work together on all, all events during with Brandstorm. So this is a bonding experience for them. So there's a lot of fun activities along with an alumni who's meeting them also. Uh, the idea is for them to bond while they learn a little bit more about brands and on uh, PR also. Thank you so much, ma'am. We have Rakshit with us, the president for Brandstrom. So Rakshit, could you share the experience of this event, branding and bonding as a first year of yeah, uh, so I've been in Joseph's for a long time. I did my UG here. So it's a great experience to do uh, an event like this. 
and i uh, branding and bonding is basically a event that i wanted that all of us wanted to do for our entire batch and our seniors where we involve the industry experience a bit so that they get a idea or have a knowledge as to how you you know get the real life situations just adding them in in a much funny way and how creative they can be in the events that we give them Catholic University Federation of St. Joseph's University conducted their investiture ceremony on August 26th in the Faber Hall of SJU Auditorium. We have reporter Shrishti on ground with more update on the events. Hello Josephites, today we are here at Faber Hall of SJU's Auditorium where we are attending the investiture ceremony of ICAP. Let's talk to the President Alvina Mary regarding the same. Hello. Uh, so, what do you think is the main goal of uh, ICUF this year after the investor? ICUF always aims in helping the marginalized society and make sure that everyone's effort is recognized and be very active in the participation for the soci socialistic issues. Okay, so what are, what are the leadership skills that students can get from ICUF? ICOF not only teaches uh, a human being about how the society is but also guides a leader uh, and teaches him not that the leader doesn't only stand front and represent them but also guides them from the back. Okay, so I've heard that there is a myth that only Catholic students can join ICOF. What do, you, what do you have to say about that? Telling about the only Catholic issues, this has been continued from years together. Actually, uh, uh, All India Catholic University is uh, University Federation is not only for Catholic. Since the ICOF Association has been instituted by the uh, Catholic Association, but it's open for everybody. Anybody can be an ICOF. Thank you so much, Alpina. The cameraman Pr Pratham and Srishti Ajay signed. The Jet Club, an association of the Department of Electronics, held its investiture ceremony on August 29. The event showcased the club's new leadership team and outlined its goals for the upcoming year, emphasizing its commitment to fostering innovation and collaboration among students. We have our ground reporter Prajwal reporting live from the event. Over to you Prajwal. Hello Josephites. So today we are here at the investiture ceremony of Jet Club of Department of Electronics. So today we have Eric who is the president of Jet Club. So let us talk to him. Hello Eric. Hello bro. So what is Jet Association? Jet Club is an electronics club man. It, it's a, it's consists of more than 250 mem members in the club. And we yearly conduct a fest called a shock fest. It's an inter-college fest. And uh, it's ma mainly glued to electronics uh, things. So what are your plans for the academy? This year we regularly have a shock fest which I already told you it's an inter-college fest. And uh, most of the electronic students are glued to their studies. They don't have any fun activities. Uh, so what my plan is this year is create more fun activities this year like treasure hunt and uh, precious party and um, divert them more more from the studies and give them some fun things in their life. Thank you Eric. Thank we you. We wish to see more of fun events from Yeah, people. sure, sure. Thank you. So that's it about Jet House Association with Kamra Pasandiva. This is Prajal reporting. Thank you. For more updates, stay tuned and keep watching Joseph's News. This is your presenter Ishika signing off. Thank you.